I want to check back in with Chief Neurologist Bobby Deskins again now. Bobby, Isaias currently looking stronger, as you talked about earlier in the show, as it approaches landfall there in the Carolinas. Yeah, uh, just about right now making landfall. And landfall, by the way, is the very center of the eye feature, right where the low would be. And so that's why I say just about because the northern eye wall is already on land in what's called Brunswick County in southeastern North Carolina. It's now 40 miles south southwest of Wilmington, North Carolina. It's going to go right up on the west side of the Cape Fear River from them. 85 mile per hour winds. 85 guys. This thing really, I mean, look at the shape. Looks a lot better now. Those highest winds going through Wrightsville Beach, Wilmington, Figure Eight Island, all those areas up in the Pender County right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough right now. But now that it's moving on land, it will slowly dissipate as it moves off towards the north and the northeast. But look at this. I mean, there's a lot of rain out ahead of us. That looks like a hurricane, right? When it was coming by east of Florida, it did not look anything like that. The wind shear that was pushing it away, or at least the storms on the west side when it went by Florida, is now pushing from behind. So there's actually less wind shear. The speed's moving up. This thing's moving to the north, northeast at 22 miles per hour. That's one little silver lining. It's not going to last any amount of time, really, in any location. Tomorrow morning, it's already over Norfolk. By tomorrow afternoon, it's already past New York City. So, and then it'll continue up into, at, uh, excuse me, eastern parts of Canada. They're talking uh, right over Burlington, Vermont as well by tomorrow night. Now, the hurricane warnings right there near the center. Again, that's where the highest winds are, and they should start to come down. But as those winds come down, they will spread out. And that means widespread tropical storm force winds for eastern Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, the Delmarva, even winds 45, 55 miles per hour sustained for New York tomorrow. Here's the forecast for the Carolinas where the highest winds are. And you can see 30s and 40s sustained. That's through four in the morning. And then notice Newport News, Virginia Beach, Norfolk area, sustained winds well in the 30s, perhaps even in the 40s right at the beach with gusts. 15, 20 miles per hour higher than that. So things will calm down quickly for the folks that have it right now, but it's going to be moving up the, co the coast. This area shaded here in the middle is the best chance to see any tropical storm force winds. And you can see it's hugging the coast. The problem with it hugging the coast is it's not fully over land, so it's not going to fall apart as quickly. And that's why winds are expected to stay up for the most part. Keep an eye on this little system here, 40 to 50% chance. Just going to kind of linger around here between Southwest Bermuda. I, I don't think it does much. I'm not worried about this. Don't worry about it. And then the extended forecast is actually even better news because next week and a half, almost two weeks, we're not seeing much on the models, which is really good news. I mean, this is the GFS model. The European, about a week out, is trying to put something there, but that is just about it. So I'm not worried about tropics at this point. We will keep an eye on it, of course, as we get going into the next couple of days.